Okay guys, welcome back to the primer series. I used all all my patience <laughs> to not to not utilize any of my daily activities. So you can see what it's like to wake up in the morning and do some Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. All right. So, here's how you know what you need to do to complete all of your dailies. You go to the bottom right, you hit activities. And right there, you can see that the menu is called daily activities. Now, keep in mind that daily activities are different depending on what player level you are. I'm at the max 85, so mine are set in stone now. They're, they're, they're not going to be any different than anyone other other 85s. But if you're level 1 or level 30, there's different tiers. Uh, you'll notice that if you're leveling up, you'll you'll have a couple that are included that are like add a gear piece to a character for a small reward um level up a character for a small reward they eliminate a lot of those at max level because there are a lot of actual max level people that have so many resources <laughs> that they they have all max level characters <laughs> and they have ma all gear equipped so they want to make sure that no one's left out. So as you can see, I did complete one, <laughs> but I want you to see what I do in the morning when I wake up. So the first thing I do is I go to the data card store. As you can see, there's a one right there in the middle. Hit that. And then get a free bronzium data card. That completes one of your daily activities. There we go. Nice and easy. Alright, the one I already completed, I go to shipments, right there. I go to the very bottom. And for these these ones that cost credits, I buy three of them. Now, when you wake up in the morning, uh, typically, like, a lot of your shops are refreshed. Some of them aren't, but some of them are. And uh, you always want to make sure to check all of them. That's what I do. Uh, now, I have to buy three uh, for the daily. You know? So I buy the ones that I don't have very much of. There you go. And you can check how many you have by just clicking the icon. As you can see, I have 22 now of those. So as you can see, I taught you about the little shop icons at the top. I'll I'll scroll through all of them and buy the stuff I want. Is Biston? Yeah, Biston's a new hero here. Yeah, I think I want... I want to... Yeah, I might start buying his shards, so I'll save my money. Uh, nope. Don't need anything there. Oh yeah, Cassian. Just got released as free-to-play, so now I can just check him out. We'll put that. Oh yeah, mod shop. See if there's anything to buy. Now, these aren't for, um, these aren't for any dailies, checking these shops. But it's smart to check these shops, so you can see if there's anything you want to buy. Once you're done checking them, you don't have to check them again. Oh, Ben Kenobi. Yeah, I'll buy a little. I'll buy a couple of his shards. I'm trying to unlock him. Okay, so next on the list of things to do for dailies will be three light side and three dark side hard battles. And I have ones I do every day because there's uh, this first order stormtrooper right here. I'll do three of his battles. It'll cost 36. It's a relatively low level. And then I'll go to light side battles. Ooh, I can activate Cassian Andor. That's what's cool about when you get enough shards to unlock somebody. It's like, do you want to unlock it? Of course you do. We'll activate him quick. And you'll get to see. Oh, cool. The activation animation. And you get special music, too. Just for that hero. Alright, now I'll mess with him later. I want to get back to dailies. So we go to light side battles. Same deal. I actually go to a low level one. I do this one three times. Now I still have some energy left over. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. We're gonna go to nine. And Baze just got a uh, free to play. So let's get him. Possible three shards. And I get zero, of course. <laughs> Okay, so now next is it wants you to do three cantina battles. I think it's three. Let's just double check it. And if you ever don't can't remember it, 
you can go ahead and figure it out. Let's see, check back Cantina. Uh, yeah, three battles using Cantina energy. Okay, so my new my new way of doing energy is I'll spend all my nightly energy on this specific critical damage battle uh, challenge, which will potentially get me some mods, and I can do five of those battles. That completes the daily. And I didn't get any mods. <laughs> so unlucky this morning. <laughs> but then, with with how I use my energy, I also do some Cantina battles because I want to unlock Old Ben. So I'm actually going to do a refresh. Didn't get a shard. <laughs> refresh. And now I got all this energy. 15 potential shards. I get four. I'll take four rather than zero. My dog is making so much noise. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, there. No more of that, little one. Okay, now we continue on dailies. So, challenges. Completing a challenge is enough for one of the dailies. Now, thankfully, they put in a system where you can multi-sim them. I will. I'll go into chal these challenges later. Just multi-sim two of them automatically. You get all the beautiful rewards, and that's it for that one. Another daily is to go into ships and do a ship challenge. These ones aren't simmable. That's fine. Well, they are simmable, you just can't group sim them, because it doesn't matter. You can just do it and we're done. It's easy. Sim. We're all done. Now, challenges, I'll actually just go over that very briefly. Challenges in here are for the three classes of heroes. Tanks, attackers, and support. You can only use one class of hero to beat... Uh, any of the any of the agi gear challenge this one right here right there or the tack gear or the strength gear now the ability mats training droids and bounty hunter mission it's a little different and i'll show you that a little later perhaps you can use more heroes for those okay so now that we took care of that Maybe, maybe we need a little reminder. What else can we do for the daily activities? We've completed all the ones that are filled in. But once you get to this section, you'll know that the ones below it, you need to take care of. Oh yeah, so yeah, I need to level up a mod and embark on a Galactic War. So the Galactic War is a series of 12 battles that you have to do with, uh, with your heroes. Now, I am going to show you a nice and easy way of completing this fast if you're in a crunch of time. So I selected my Jedi crew, my favorite team. And technically, I have now embarked on a Galactic War. So I'm just going to retreat. Maybe I don't have time right now. Maybe I'm making coffee, which I totally am. <laughs> so <laughs> let's let's go out. And now that, that one's all completed. And then progress for a mod. I didn't unlock any new ones, unfortunately. So I'll just have to choose one of my old ones and level that up. Now keep in mind, with leveling up a mod for the daily, you can level it, not even a level, just put like the thousand credits into it and you're done ski, done in rings. Okay, so let's see, but I prefer to level up one that needs to be leveled up, one that I like. I, I prefer to level it all the way up. And I'm not finding too many that are actually very good. And that's unfortunate. Not a lot of them. Ugh. Oh, this... Oh, this is painful. None of them are very good. I've leveled up. You know what? I'll just I'll just do this one. And upgrade this one. So like I said, you could just do that and that you're done. You're done. But I'm, my personal preference is just to go ahead, level it up all the way, spend the 400k. See if you get a speed boost. I did. A very small one, but it's nice. Nice to have. And then okay, so that one's done. Now the two that are remaining are the arena battles the arena battles in the squad arena which i'm rank six i kind of don't want to do a battle right now because all of my friends are ahead of me i actually one of one of the ways and i'll go into this later to be successful in the arena is to form bonds of friendship with the other people in your crew and i'll, I'll go into that later but right now i don't want to attack any of these four people that are in front of me actually Borhat can go die but but he's only one ahead of me so i'm not going to complete this now you you have the 24 hours to complete your dailies of course and then uh fleet arena okay so in the squad arena it wants you to do two battles 
in the fleet arena just won but i'm rank four i did i did great overnight so i don't want to do any battles so that completes my dailies for now so once you once you start accepting you'll see that uh, on the right it says your rewards and on the left, as you can see, it says I'm, I've got that one completed. Each one gives you like a minimal amount of crystals, sometimes training droids, a lot of times uh, um, coinage credits. But the, one of the most important things is experience. When you're leveling up, I'm max level, but this is one of the most important reasons to get uh, to get these these dailies done is the massive amounts of experience because you you get basically one experience per energy you use and look at this you get 75 experience for that one so that's a massive boost 100 xp so you want to make sure to always complete these now why complete all of them because uh, i'll show you there's a really special thing you get every time you get to the bottom oh my god that took a while <laughs> okay so if you check the daily activities completion at the bottom, you'll notice that there's a, just a giant massive amount of stuff. You get a little ship current coin, you get a little ship building materials, ship experience droids, a nice amount of little crystals there. I would say most importantly, you get an Omega a day. That's amazing. You only get the Omega a day for level 85 though. And then you get this fun little mystery box, which gives you like, a couple gear pieces and then just like a sometimes it's like a, it's like one to a hundred crystals and then like 10k to sometimes even uh 500k credits and it's just like a fun little thing they added there's very nice touch so that's your daily activities how long did that take me look at the look at the time in this video and i was taking a long time to do it so this is the this is the amount of time you need to spend each day doing stuff in this game potentially there's a lot more stuff to do, but if you just uh, have no time, you can still do a lot of cool stuff in this game and unlock a lot of stuff and, and get a lot of resources. So that's daily activities. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you get a feel for a day to day life in this game. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I'll talk to you guys later.